It's CNN Online, and this time we're reviewing the latest Dragon Ball Z game by the folks over at Namco Bandai, Dragon Ball Z Battle of Z. Battle of Z is mainly revolved around multiplayer, as the big thing about this game is you can have up to 8 players playing together at the same time. The single player campaign is based around the different sagas, the Saiyan Saga, Freezer Saga, Cell Saga, Majin Buu Saga, Another Age, Extra Age, and Special Age, which fans of the franchise will know and love. As previous players of the Dragon Ball Z games and also viewers of the TV series, it has a lot of characters and areas that people will be familiar with and know straight off the bat. The only thing that we picked up on is if you aren't really a Dragon Ball Z fan and have picked up this game, the story isn't really there and doesn't go into much detail. Yes, you can tell who the bad guys are and who the main people are in the story, but you don't really find out the backstory. We're guessing that it's because the developers feel as if you're picking up this game, you know the series. Each character has the ability to use cards. These are able to improve the stats of the characters and make them stronger, and do more damage, and also regain energy quicker. You obtain new cards from completing missions or using points that you earn to buy them. There's a section where you can buy items that allow the player to get bonus stats and a section called Premium Collection where you can buy more cards. But the good thing about this particular section is that each week some of the cards change and these are rare cards. All these are purchasable using game points. These are called Dragon Ball Points and Premium Points. Another huge feature is the Giant Battles, which is you fight against huge characters such as Ape Vegeta and Great Ape Gohan to name a few. These Giant Battles are really fun to play and make you attack certain parts of the body such as the arms and head before finishing them off. With each mission you get a select number of revives depending on its difficulty. This is displayed before accepting the mission and whilst on the mission in the HUD. If you use them all up, you have to start again from the beginning of the mission. You are also able to create teams, dream teams if you will, before you go on a mission. The player is allowed to select up to four players to go on a mission with them. This adds a whole lot of fun to the game. And yes, if you really want to, that means having four Gokus. The whole game is based upon teamwork. Even on single player, you will have three AIs to help you out on your way. They help heal you and share energy. Also, if you get down, they can revive you before you actually die. That way you don't lose a revive because you didn't fully die. They are also the main way a massive help for getting combos in this game, because the fighting system runs off them as well. You can perform big chain combos and do tons of damage, but don't worry, the fans' favourite moves are still there, such as Goku's Spirit Bomb and Kamehameha. At the end of most missions, you can lend energy to the world. We ain't quite sure what this does, but sometimes during missions, energy will fall from the sky. We're not sure whether this is because of the fact that you're lending energy to everyone around the world and they're doing vice versa, but it's a kind of cool feature in Battle of Z. The game heavily focuses on online cooperative play with two game modes, co-op and battle mode. Co-op is where you play the missions available on single player, though as you guessed, you can play with other players. Those three NPCs you play with in single player mode are then removed and replaced with three other players around the world. When playing, a noticeable difference was that the difficulty was a tad harder on multiplayer, as in single player the NPCs tend to give you energy the majority of the time, whereas a multiplayer, players seem to do it less often. The game plans are pretty similar other than the addition of real players, with you having a set amount of retries per mission and being able to revive each other during battles. When playing it was noticed that it didn't take all that long to find players, which is brilliant as it allowed us to hop straight into game and play. Battle mode is also the other feature that is featured in Dragon Ball Z Battle of Z. In battle mode, up to 8 players can duel it out in 4 different game types. These consist of Normal Battle, Score Battle, Battle Royale and Dragon Ball Grab. Normal Battle is your 4v4 battle. Each team has a certain amount of revives which can be used after they die. Whoever hits 0 first, loses. Score Battle is a 4v4 game mode again, though this time the team has to try and get the highest score in a set amount of time by knocking out the other team's players. Battle Royale is the free for all mode. Everyone has to knock each other out to try and get the highest score, whilst also trying to get the unique crown. Finally, Dragon Ball Grab is a 4v4 where players fight for the 7 Dragon Balls around the map. Whichever team collects all of the Dragon Balls wins the game, though if not all are collected, then the team with the highest amount would be declared the victor. Battle mode is hours of fun and spices up the single player gameplay to make fun and competitive multiplayer modes. Matches did take a while to find, though matches were fast paced and action packed, so just make sure you can keep up with all that non-stop action before you enter the battlefield. Graphics in Battle of Z look very similar to the Dragon Ball Z game Zenkai Battle Royale. It's got huge fighting areas which look fantastic, no doubt will be probably the best Dragon Ball game to date. Fans will love to know that characters in this game are probably the best roster in our opinion, featuring returning characters such as Goku, Gohan, Cell, Boo and more. Also not to mention the different stages in the transformation stages of each character, such as Super Saiyan and all forms of Boo, Freezer, Cell etc. It will also be the first game to feature the Whis and Beerus from the new film Battle of Gods, as well as Goku's Super Saiyan God form. The game has 70 plus characters, but that counts the different forms of the characters as they're separated. There is minimal visual customization to characters, seeing as it only allows you to change the colour of their clothes. This comes in handy though, especially if you've got four Gokus side by side, because it makes your one stand out. There are four different battle types of playable characters. First off, there's the fighting type, skilled at close combat and can combine melee attacks. Fighting type moves are Kaioken Attack, Dance of the Swords and Riku Kick. Then you've got the Kai Blast types, skilled at long range battles and can consistently attack using the Genki Gauge. Kai Blast type moves are Consecutive Energy Blast, Death Beam and Spirit Ball. 
There is also the support type, powers such as health regeneration and support abilities. Support type moves, a health regain blast, and fighting pose. Finally, there is interference type. There are adept abilities that interfere with the enemy's movements. Interference type moves are solar flare, chocolate beam, and drain energy. Luckily, we got the chance to play both the PS3 version and the PS Vita version of the game. If we're truly honest, there isn't a massive difference between them at all. The graphics don't look any different, and the game flows just as well, even though the PS Vita doesn't have the L2 and R2 buttons. The only real advantage is that the Vita is handheld and you can play it on the go. But as said, they're pretty identical and we would recommend either version depending on what console you have. Something that did disappoint us though was that you couldn't cross play on the Vita, and this is where you transfer save data between the PS Vita and PS3 so you can play it on the go or in your console when you get home. Right, now to the positives and negatives. The positives. The character roster is awesome, includes tons of fan favourites, and also features the Super Saiyan God. It's action packed, engaging, and has fun gameplay. And also there are great online modes. Now the negatives. Online can vary massively depending on your team. Some missions are very short. Difficulty for us at least to try and pull off those big awesome combos and also the combat is repetitive. Dragon Ball Z Battle of Z is a brilliant made, fun and engaging game. It has a great cel shaded art style, a catchy and action packed soundtrack, an excellent character roster with tons of fan favourite characters and plenty of enjoyable gamers to get your teeth into. If you're a fan of the Dragon Ball Z series, you want to get your hands on this game, as it has much to offer for the fans. Though if you're not a fan of the Dragon Ball Z series, we do recommend the game, but you might not get the same kick and buzz as the fans do. The game has hours of gameplay and you will always have something to do, whether it's play through the missions alone or with mates, brawl it out on battle mode, or try and unlock everything that is possible on the game. While some missions may be short and combat can get repetitive, there is still so much to enjoy from this game, and this is a game you'll definitely want to get your hands on. For these reasons alone, Dragon Ball Z Battle of Z gets a well earned CNN score of 4 out of 5. Thanks for watching guys, feel free to leave comments down below and make sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you in our next video. This is CNN Online signing off.